So first off, how do you feel about your son being honored tonight by journalists and people across the country at this award ceremony? We're very honored, very humbled. Jimmy would be the same. So. It's a very prestigious group here <coughs> of journalists, some of the leaders in our country's media. So for them to recognize Jim and Stephen Sotloff's um, sacrifice and commitment to the First Amendment means a lot. And I noticed you two are very close with the Sotloffs, too. They have gone through the same painful journey that we have, and we, we have a deep, very deep respect for the other families. They, we know they understand, they know. Their pain and suffering is no different than ours. No, it's very... So we have that bond, you know, even though we really don't know each other that well. I mean, they're from all different parts of the country. I mean, the Salt Laws from Florida, we're from New Hampshire. So, you know, but the tragedy has definitely brought us together. Yeah, so in, in a sad way, but you still have people to be there for you. Exactly. exactly. So what do you hope will come out of events like this that recognize people like Jim and Stephen who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their jobs? It's well, an Tessa, excellent question. It is, Tessa. Um, our big mission is that Jim not, and Stephen, but Jim not have died in vain. So that we hope these events bring attention to the plight of freelancers who um, are in conflict zones with very little protection, very little support, really bringing us most of the news in foreign coverage, and also for the plight of American hostages. And their families. And their families. Um, so we feel these are important issues that were difficult to get attention for during Jim's captivity, you know, and that's why John, you know, invited the media to look at ways to cooperate together. Because together, our media is what keeps us free, right? And, and keeps our government accountable. So without, we really, we made the mistake, really, I think, of um, maintaining this blackout that FBI and the captors suggested and wanted. wanted us to. They didn't want us to go to the media. So we were ambivalent about it, you know. Yeah. But and it was and the media has to be more than the next big story, mm -hmm. the next yeah. interview, and, you know, the person who gets first to our door. It has to be how do we respect our colleagues, we respect our colleagues by working together to keep them safe. How do we respect our, you know, and how do we become respected? We become respected by respecting our colleagues. And here in the United States, there tends to be a lot of competition and not necessarily the collegial um, relationship across networks and such. And um, we've seen in other countries that it's just that relationship that was able to put keep their governments accountable for getting their hostages home and to keep the public informed. So we're we hoping. have such a huge country. It's a big, big challenge. Yeah, it really is, Tessa. But we're hoping that that'll be a way that Jim and Stephen and Peter and Kayla, that their legacy will live on so that Americans can reflect on these issues. And um, I guess to finish with, what do you want people to know about your son? Anything at all? Who he was as a person, who he was as a journalist, just anything that, anything at all? Well, he was committed to helping the people who couldn't help themselves. He was a man for other, pe other people. And he was very passionate about the First Amendment. He really cared and believed in people's rights. And I think the more he saw countries that didn't have those rights, that didn't have those privileges, the more passionate he was about that, Tessa. So he but was he, a champion. But again, he was very, very excited about their courage. About what? Their courage. To yeah. fight for their own freedoms. Yeah. yeah. And that was inspiring to him as well. Yeah. Well, he is, he is definitely an inspiration to us, and thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you, gals. You did a great job. Thank great you.